Hi, welcome once again to another new video. This is Santu Sahu and you are watching Sahu's tutorial. Here I am again with mock test for the upcoming UG Senate exam on English literature. This is the part 1 and in this YouTube video I will be covering some most important questions for the upcoming UG Senate exam. So watch the video till the end because it is going to be a very fruitful session. But before starting the session, I would like to request all of you please do subscribe my channel South Tutorial and tap the bell icon to get more notification that I will upload in future. And don't forget to share with your friends and hit the like button as well. So here is your first question on your screen. The first question is that Santaram is a 2003 novel in which a convicted Australian bank robber and heroin addict escapes from Pentry's prison. So there is a 2003 novel called Santaram. A convicted Australian bank robber and heroin addict escapes from Pentry's prison and flees to India. Where does he flee? He flees to India. And the novel is commended by many for its vivid portrayal of life in Bombay in the early late 1980s. Who is the author? Your options here Gregory David Roberts, Christopher Koch, Alfred Jelinek, and Christiania Street. So the right option here is A, that is Gregory David Roberts has written the novel Santaram, where a convicted Australian is uh, moving to please to India and there is the vivid portrayal of life in Bombay in the early to late 1980s. Okay, moving to the next question. Uh, now look at this explanation here that 1978 Roberts was sentenced the Roberts was sentenced that Australian convicted convict the Roberts was sentenced to a 19 year imprisonment in Australia after being convicted of a series of armed robberies of building society branches credit unions and shops in July 1980 he escaped from Victoria's Pentry's prison in broad daylight thereby becoming one of Australia's most wanted men for the next 10 years so he is the protagonist here Roberts is the protagonist here the protagonist Lindsay <coughs> according to the book Robert's fake name okay arrives in Bombay carrying a false passport in the name of Lindsay Ford so the protagonist here Lindsay according to the book Robert's fake name arrives in Bombay carrying a false passport in the name of Lindsay Ford okay next question here <coughs> the year of living dangerously the year of living dangerously is a 1978 novel in which an Australian journalist a Chinese Australian photojournalist and a British diplomat interact in Indonesia in the summer and autumn of 1965. Set primarily in the Indonesian capital city of Jakarta, it also describes a party of fictionalized version of the events leading up to the coup attempt by Communist Party of Indonesia on September 30, 1965. Who is the writer here? The year of living dangerously. Christopher Coach, Gregory David Roberts, Alfred Zelinek, Christiania Street. So the right option here is Christopher Koch has written the novel The Year of Living Dangerously published in the year 1978. Moving to the next question. The Children of the Dead, the famous work The Children of the Dead novel that constitutes an intensive examination of the memory and the suppression of the Holocaust. Suppression of the Holocaust. The author herself calls it a ghost story written in the tradition of the Gothic novel. The author itself, author herself calls it a ghost story written in the tradition of gothic novel. The novel is unusual amongst literary works in a German in that all characters are undead in the process of decomposition and are presented as mute zombies. They are presented as mute zombies in the manner of splatter films. So who is the writer here? Alfred Zelinek, Gregory David Roberts, Christopher Koch, Christiania Street. So the children of the dead is the famous a novel written by Alfred Zelinek. He has written this work, The Children of the Dead, the Australian writer Alfred Zelinek. Moving to next question now. The Man Who Loved Children. The Man Who Loved Children is a 1940 novel. The novel tells the story of a highly dysfunctional family. A dysfunctional family, the polities. Name the author. The Man Who Loved Children. Christiania Stitt, Alfred Zelinek, Gregory David Roberts. Christopher Coach. So here, right option here is Christian Street. The Australian writer has written The Man Who Loved Children. Okay. Here is the explanation. Uh, so here, which of the following was A.D. Hope's, A.D. Hope, the Australian poet, first collection of poets, The Wandering Island, Danciate Minor, A Book of Answers, or Fuse. So A.D. Hope's first collection of poems was The Wandering Island. So A is the right option over here. 
his first collection of poems the wandering island was not published until 1955 possibly because of because of its erotic content so because of its erotic content it was not published until 1955 but by then his reputation was assured his second volume of poetry that is collected poems of 1930 1965 was published in 1966 and expanded in 1972 so the wandering island was the first collection of poems written by ed hoffs australian writer the race the race sisters the race sisters is a two act play is a two act play uh, the poetic drama a novel and epic poem so it is actually a, <coughs> a two act play it is by written by sally uh, sorry it is written by thompson highway the raji the race sister is a two act play by the canadian writer thompson highway cree first performed on november 26 1986 by act 4 uh, act 4 theater company and the native Art performing acts. So the Red Sister, the two-act play by the Canadian writer Thompson Highway. The Red Sister is part partially inspired by Michael Tremble Tremblay's *Les Belles Sœurs*. It explores the hopes and dreams of a group of seven women on the fictional uh, that is Washington Hill Indian Reserve. Okay. While Highway's treatment of its women's character is sympathetic and perhaps gentler than Tremblay's, their Tremblay's, the portrayal expresses a gritty and grim realism. So the Red Sisters. Had written uh, was written by Thompson Highway. Next question: Which of the following is not true of Walcott's Omeroz? Derek Walcott's Omeroz, which is not true. This is an epic poem. It is true. We'll go Omeroz is an epic poem. This is based on Homer's Odyssey. No, this is based on Homer's uh, Iliad. This is based on Homer's Iliad. This is based on Homer's Iliad. It is. It uses the style of Dante's Divine Comedy. Yeah, it has the style of Divine Comedy. There is no authorial voice in Homer. There is no author. This is true. But this based. This is based on Homer's Iliad. It does not based on. It it is not based on uh, Homer's Odyssey. So here B is the right option, which is not true. So here B that this is based on Homer's uh, Odyssey is not true here. Okay. The practice of using economics, the practice of using economics, globalization, cultural imperialism, and conditional aid helps to influence a developing country is known as globalization, development aid, philanthropy, neo-colonialism. So here, the practice of using economics and globalization, cultural imperialism, con uh, conditional aid to influence a developing country is known as neo-colonialism, neo-colonization. So here, A is the right option here, neo-colonization. Moving to next question, the name of the grandmother in my place, in my place is a work written by Sally Morgan. The name of the grandmother in my place is a each uh, uh, who is the grandmother here? Gladys, Sally, Jane, Daisy. So here the name of the grandmother in my place is here Daisy. Daisy is the grandmother here, and my place is an autobiography. Is an autobiography. My place, the novel, is an autobiography written by the artist. By 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 artist Sally Morgan in 1987. It is about Morgan's quest for knowledge of her family's past and the fact that she has grown up under false pretenses. The book is a milestone in Aboriginal literature and is one of the earlier works in Indigenous writing. Okay, so yeah, this is a milestone in Aboriginal literature. That is Sally Morgan has written this. The book is widely studied in public school across New South Wales. That is in Australia as part of Aboriginal Studies program compulsory for all students. dense okay which semi autobiographical which is semi autobiographical novel semi autobiographical novel begins with the lines my dear fellow my dear fellow my, de my dear fellow my dear fellow australians just a few lines to tell you that this story is about is all about myself for no other purpose i do i for no other purpose do i write it so the options are miles franklin's my brilliant career david melubs jono peter cocans Chris Fields or Christiania Steeds for love alone. So here, uh, this is the opening line of Miles Franklin's "My Brilliant Career." My, my uh, Miles Franklin's brilliant career. So A is the right answer over here. Moving to next question, Doris Pilkington's Doris Pilkington's 1996 book that is "Follow the Rabbit Proof Fence." Follow the Rabbit Proof Fence. She details her mother and aunt's experience while escaping from a government institution. Doris herself watched uh, to later spend many years in the same notorious place. What was that notorious place? In Doris Pilkington's novel, that is, follow the rabbit proof fence. She details her mother and aunt's experience of escaping from a government institution. 
and Doris Halsell was to later uh, was to later spend many years in the same amount of notorious places. What was that place? Okay, Moor River Native Settlement, Evenger Mission, uh, Dumgate, Dumadji uh, Aboriginal Mission, Wellington Valley Mission. So it is actually Moor River Native Settlement. So here A is the right option here. Okay. Next question: The central character in the Roll Bold Wood, Roll Bold Woods Robbery Under Arms. The central character in Roll Bold Woods Robbery Under Arms was based on which real life bush ranger of 1850s? This is also from Australian literature. Captain Starlight, Henry Redford, Captain Thunderbolt, Bain Hall. So here, the central character in Roll Bold Woods Robbery Under Arms was uh, the central character was here Henry Redford. Henry Redford was the central character of the novel that is Robbery Under Arms that was written by Roll Boldwood by an Australian writer. Uh, that is based on which real life bush ranger of 1850s? So the real life bush ranger was here Henry Redford. Henry Redford. Moving to the next question. Who is the protagonist of the novel Cooley? The novel Cooley that is published in the year 1936. 1936. Okay. Untouchable was published in the year 1935. Whereas Whereas Cooley was published in the 1936. So, who was the protagonist of the novel Cooley by Moolcrest? Gangu, Gangu, and the Lal Singh, no, Anantha, no, Munu. So, Munu was the Munu was the person. Okay, uh, Munu was the person. Uh, the Munu was the boy, the protagonist of the novel Cooley, and he died of tuberculosis. He died, he died of tuberculosis in the uh, in, in 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 his early years. Uh, maybe it was uh, uh, in the age of 15 in the age of 15 Muno died due to tuberculosis in the age of 15 in the age of 15 uh, Muno died um, due to uh, due to tuberculosis next, next question who am the following is the protagonist of Kanthapura the novel the Raja Rao's Kanthapura who is back from the city with new ideas and cuts across the ancient barriers of caste to unite the village in non-violent action so in non and that is he was very much influenced by the Gandhian uh, movement. So here who among the following is the protagonist of Kanthapura? Rama Pilali, uh, Murthy, Narayan, Anand. So here Murthy is the protagonist. Here the protagonist of Kanthapura written by Radha Rao. Murthy who has come, who was back from the city after uh, after, after taking the education uh, with new ideas, and now he is now cutting across the ancient barriers of caste to unite the village. In uh, the and he was also influenced by the non-violent action of uh, action of Mahatma Gandhi. So here Murthy is the right option here. Next question: The clouds, the wafts, the birds, the Lysistrata, the women at uh, this is Thesmophria festival, the fox. These are all written by which famous Greek dramatist has written these works? Okay. So Aristophanes, Sophocles, no, Euripides, no, Aeschylus, no. Here these are the all uh, great works written by Aristophanes. Aristophanes has written by this all uh, has written all these works. Next question. That was the first to use Greek term equivalent to Latin phrase that is Deus ex machina. So who was the person that has for the first time used the Greek term equivalent to the Latin phrase that is Deus ex machina to describe the techniques and to solve the problem of uh, tragedy, uh, plot of tragedies, okay. Uh, describe techniques as a device to resolve the plot of tragedies. Plato, no, Aristotle, Socrates, Sophocles. So it was Aristotle. Aristotle had for the first time used Deus ex machina to describe the techniques as a device to resolve the plot of tragedies. Moving to next question, the play consists mostly of static dialogue. As throughout the play, the Titan Prometheus is bound to, to a rock. The Prometheus is bound to a rock as a punishment from the Olympian Jews for providing fire to humans. So the Prometheus has given the fire to humans. That's why he is here bound to a rock as a kind of punishment. And the play closes with Jews sending Prometheus into the abysses because Prometheus refuses to divulge the divulge the secret of potential marriage that could prove Jews' downfall. Who wrote this play? Aristophanes, no. Euripides, no. Aeschylus, Sophocles. So here Aeschylus has written the uh, the great uh, tragedy that is Prometheus bound. So here Aeschylus is the right option here. Moving to next question, Gitanjali is by Aaron Tagore contains how many poems? 103, 106, 108, 109. So Gitanjali by Aaron Tagore contains, okay, it contains 103 and its preface was written by William Butler Reads and Gitanjali's preface was written by William Butler Reads. Next question, Regia, Empress of Indy. Regia, Empress of Indy is written by its Sarojini Naidu, Michael Madhusudan Dutt, Tarudat, Sri Arabindo. So Regia, Empress of 
in the it, it was written by Michael Madhusudan Dutt. Michael Madhusudan Dutt has written Vijaya Empress of India, which is a tragedy actually. Michael Madhusudan Dutt composed in Madras, in Madras, in Madras for his first, uh, his first play, that is Vijaya Empress of India in 1855. A tragedy about 13th century Sultana of Sultana of Delhi who loved her Abyssinian slave. Okay, the play titled Regia Empress of India is a fictional account of Rajya Sultana, the only women ruler of Delhi Sultanate. So here yeah, this is a tragedy written by Michael Madison that is a that is composed in Madras for and it was his first play, Regia Empress of India, published in the year 1855. Okay, next question. Which of the following novels has the refrain? This is the Mason age. This is the Mason age son. This is the this is the Mason age. We all are men who will master it. Okay. We have all are men, we will master it. The big heart, the, the village, the untouchables, sword and the sickle. So these lines appear in the novel the big heart. The big heart. Okay. These, these lines appear in the novel the big heart written by Mulkras Anand here. Okay, who pioneered the application of Sasurian semiotics to film theory? So, who has pioneered the application of Sasurian semiotics to a film theory, applying the syntagmatic analysis to scenes of films and grounding film semiotics in later context? Was he Christian Maids, Elsio Vernon, Amber to Eco, none of the above? So, here the right option is Christian Maids has, hmm, has, has pioneered the application of Sasurian semiotics to film theory. So, the A is the right option move here. We move to the next question. Who developed who developed a formalist approach to Sasur structuralist theories? And his best known work is Prolet Mena to a theory of language, which was expanded in regime of the theory of language. A formal development glossmatics. So glossmatics, okay, his scientific calculus. His scientific glossmatic was the scientific calculus of language. Who developed so it was the options are your Louis Helmeslop, George Herbert Mead, Carnap, Charles W. Morris. So the right option here is Louis Helmeslov has developed uh, has developed uh, there is Sasurian structuralist theories and it's based on what is polygonal to a theory of language. So this is Louis Helmeslov. Next question listed below are the seemingly friendly characters in the Pilgrim Progress who gives Christian dangerous advice. Okay, so there are some characters who have uh, given uh, dangerous advices to Christian in the Pilgrim Progress by John Bunyan. Among them is one who does not belong to this group. Okay, any uh, the, that person has not okay given any kind of dangerous advice. Okay, so identify this odd character. Okay, Mr. Wildly Wiseman is a bad character. Ignorance is a bad character. Talkative is a bad character. Whereas Evangelist is a religious person. He is a religious person. He is a religious person and is a religious person. Yeah, and he is a good person actually. Even he is a kind of messenger. He is a kind of messenger. So the word one is an evangelist. Evangelist in, the, in John Bunyan's the Magnum Opus is the Pilgrim Progress. Move to the next question. Who said the unity of a work of art is achieved not through the unity of character, nor unity of action, but through the unity of the author's moral position? So what is he saying? He is saying that the unity of a work of art is achieved not through the unity of character, nor nor unity of action, but but for what? But through the unity of the author's moral position. So here author's moral position is has given has been given much importance. Who said this? Jacob no, Tolstoy no, Flaubert, Marx. So it was Gasset Flaubert uh, has said this Flaubert. So Flaubert has the is the right answer here. Next question, who wrote the new word? This is the this is the famous work written by okay, Utopian war. It is by Bacon. Here Bacon is the new uh, the new Atlantis is Bacon's Utopian work. Next question, the novelist who wholeheartedly embraced Charles Darwin's theory, okay, that is A.G. Wells, no, Samuel Butler, Joseph Conrad, so here Samuel Butler, Samuel Butler has wholeheartedly embraced Darwin's theory. Next question, it is a triad, it is a trite but true observation that examples work more forcibly on the mind than perceives. These are the words that we came, that we come across in the beginning of which novel. It is a trite but true observation that examples work that examples work more forcibly on the mind than perceptions. Okay, so examples work more forcibly on the mind than perception. Then your perceptions. Okay, so who uh, these are the opening lines of which novel? Joseph Andrews, the rivals, the Jolly Bakers. So it is the these are the opening lines of that novel called Joseph Andrews, and it's the first novel written by probably uh, I think it is of the first novel written by Henry Fielding. Henry Fielding, Joseph Andrews, Henry Fielding. Okay. 
a man proud, moody, cynical, with defiance and misery, a scorner, who was Macaul, Thomas Macaul writing about this, or Walter Scott, no, Charles Lamb, no, Lord Byron, no, it is the, this is the feature, these are the features, characteristics of a Byronic hero, that is a man who is proud, he is moody, he is cynical, with defiance, and he, and, 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 and is, is misery, and his misery can be found in that through the course of the work, through the course of the novel, okay, and he is a scorner, so he, this is the Byronic hero, and who was Macaulay writing about this? Macaulay has written about this, about a Byronic hero. Aristotle argued that poetry provides a or an outlet for the release of intense emotion. Poetry provides safe outlet. Dangerous, no dangerous to nahi hai, uncertain to nahi hai, unreliable to nahi hai. That is, poetry provides a safe outlet. So here A is the right option here. The direct French influence on the English language during the Middle English period was in the form of so the direct French influence on the English language during the uh, Middle English period was in the form of loss of inflection. So okay. intake of French words into English, likely both the loss of inflection and the intake of French no loss of inflection was not there. Okay, addition of inflection no. So here intake of French words. So they were taking French words into English. So the intaking of French words into English hmm, hmm, was the in this is the right option here. Okay. Next question, question 31. At the onset of the play, at the very beginning of the play, Harmia is in love with which of the characters in Shakespeare's comedy A Midsummer Night's Dream? This is the comedy, the famous comedy written by Shakespeare, Midsummer Night's Dream, where the characters where Theseus is the where Theseus is the king, Theseus and Hippolyta, the, the Hippolyta and to be queen, okay. Yeah. Theseus and Hippolyta are the king and the queen, whereas the whereas two couples here, one is you have a Harmia, one is Harmia. Harmia, Harmia and Harmia and Lysander, Harmia and Lysander, whereas another there is Helena, Helena, Helena and you have Demetrius, Demetrius, Demetrius and there uh, and Demetrius and Helena's father is Aegeus, now Aegeus, Aegeus is the Aegeus is the Helena's father, so here Helena loves Demetrius but Demetrius does not love Helena and Harmia and Lysander both they love each other. So here Harmia is in love with which of the characters? So Harmia is in love with here Lysander. So the right sender is the right option here Lysander. So Lysander is the right option whereas Helena is, is in love with Demetrius but Demetrius does not love her Helena. Okay and the king is Theseus and the queen is Hippolyta where the characters like Park, Bottom, Park, Bottom appear. Mm, okay and the king Oberon and titania from the fairyland also appear in that in that in that in that comedy that is a midsummer night stream okay a significant development of 1662 was the establishment of the royal society so a royal society was uh, established in the year 1662 in england the what was the purpose of the society to set the rules for the it was not to set the rules to guide and pronoun promote to guide just to guide and promote the development of science and scientific exploration to set norms for the civil society no to promote theater no so it was to guide and to pro and promote the development of science and scientific exploration so here b is the right option here moving to the next question william cooper wrote in the task in the task about those who build factories with blood so those persons those workers who build factories uh, with blood conducting trade at the source point these lines are alluding to what Turkish militant traders across Europe no Nordic conquers across East Asia or West Indian slave plantation owners in the East India companies nabobs or exploiter of child labor in the London suburbs so these lines are actually alluding to West Indian slave plantation owners and the East India company Nabobs. Okay, next question. The Commedia dell'arte originated in Italy, you know, in the 16th century. Which of the following descriptions are the most appropriate? Tears alternating with crude laughter. Tears alternating with crude. No. Comedy of the Guild. This is Comedy of the Guild or by the professionals in the art. True. Uh, there is Plotting Comedy alternating with ritualistic maneuvers. No. And Improvised Comedy that follows a scenario rather than written dialogue. True. So here uh, B and D is the right option here. B and D. So B is the right option here. Next question. Shakespeare's Trials and Chrysidium. Trials and Chrysidium opens with a prologue which makes reference to which of the following epics. There is a reference to Homer's Odyssey. No. Dante's Paradise Lost. No. Virgil's Iliad. No. There is a reference to Homer's Iliad. Homer's Iliad. There is a reference to Trials and Chrysidium. In, in Trials and Chrysidium there is a reference to Homer's Iliad. Next question. Name Dryden's poem. 
written in celebration in celebration of Charles II. Charles II's return. So when Charles II return came to throne again, okay, uh, Dryden wrote a poem. What was that poem? Okay, Astria Redux, Anas Mirabilis, Absalom Natchitable. So it was Astria Redux. Astria Redux was the poem of when Charles II returned to the throne, okay, and Dryden had written uh, this poem for him. Astria Redux. Next question. The film The Innocents. The film The Innocents is based on Turn the Screw Keen, not based on novel. So the film The Innocents is based on Turn the Screw by Henry James. By Henry James. By Henry James. Okay. Henry James, okay. A novel that is Turn of the Screw. And it influenced to make the film that is The Innocents. Next question. Who is the critic that introduced the terms? A flat character and a round character. So flat character, flat character and round character, T. S. Eliot, no. Arnold Kettle. Matthew Arnold, E. M. Foster. So E. M. Foster in aspects of the novel. In aspects of the novel, in aspects of the novel that was published in the year 1927, 1927 probably I know that in 1927, uh, E. M. Foster had published a work that is aspects of the novel, 1927 and in that uh, novel, okay, he has introduced the terms like flat character and round character. Next question. Okay. Uh, we explained two types of work described in E. M. Foster in his book, The Aspects of the Novel, 1927. Okay. Who is the author that time must have a stop? Time must have a stop. Aldous Huxley, OKC, Sinokes, D. S. Lawrence, Sinokes, D. S. Lawrence, D. S. Lawrence, no. Sinokes, who is famously uh, known for his writings like uh, Juno, Ju Juno and the Peacock. Aldous Huxley is the right option here, okay. Aldous Huxley has written, okay. The time must have stop, okay. A is the right option over here. Next question What is the name of the Arnold Bennett's autobiography? Arnold Bennett's, Arnold Bennett's, okay. Autobiography What Life Has Given Me, My Story, My Experiences, Truth About an Author. So it is Truth About an Author. Truth About an Author was the autobi it is autobiography of Arnold Bennett. Moving to question number 42. Which of the following characters speak of these famous lines in Shakespeare's The Merchant of Venice? Okay, the, this is the famous line. The quality of mercy is not strained. It drops as the gentle rain from heaven upon the place beneath it. It is twice blessed. Okay, it blessed. It blessed him that gives him that text. Okay, these are the famous lines by by told by told by Portia. Portia had uh, told these lines. Okay, here. John Masefield. John Masefield. John Masefield is one of the poems. Uh, in one of the poems below, has symbolized one civilization in one verse. Okay, in one verse he has symbolized one civilization. Which poem was this? Beauty, no. Cargoes, concentrate, concentrate. So okay, no. Hard, hard, no. It was cargoes. In the cargoes, okay, John Masefield has symbolized one civilization in one verse. Okay, that is cargoes. So B is the here, okay. Which dramatic made this statement that I write plays with the deliberate purpose to convert the nation. So he is writing plays with the deliberate purpose to convert the nation to my opinion. Who said this? T. S. Eliot? No. Gelsot John Gelsot? No. G. B. Shaw? It was G. B. Shaw. G. B. Shaw has told. G. B. Shaw. So G. B. Shaw has made this comment. Hmm. Moving to next question. To whom did Harman Melville dedicate his book Moby Dick? Moby Dick was dedicated to Nathan Hawthorne. So D. is the answer. Nathan Hawthorne. Nathan Hawthorne. Which novel has Heathcliff and Catherine Arnso are as characters? Okay. Uthering Heights, Moby Dick, Jane Eyre? No. It was Uthering Heights. Uthering Heights by Emily Bronte. By Emily Bronte. By Emily Bronte is okay. Emily Brontes, Emily Brontes, okay. Novel is Wuthering Heights. There are characters like okay, Heathcliff and Catherine Arnso. Next question, Sir John Falstaff. John, John Falstaff, okay. That John Falstaff quotes, uh, quotes, which of the following Windsor wives in Shakespeare's The Mary, The Mary Wives of Windsor? Mistress Alice Ford and Mistress Margaret Page. Mistress Quickly, Quickly was there, okay. Margaret Page was there. Uh, Margaret Page, Anna Page was not there. Anna Page, and so here it is Mistress Alice Ford, okay. So here A is the right. So Mistress Alice Ford and Mistress Margaret Page. So John Falstaff was quoting, okay. Mistress Alice Ford and Mistress Margaret Page in the uh, drama that is The Mary Wives of Windsor by Shakespeare. To obtain financial advantage, okay, here he decides to have who that is okay. To obtain financial advantage, okay, John Falstaff decides to quote two wealthy married women that is Mistress Forth and Mistress Page, okay. It features the character John, John Falstaff, the fat knight who had previously been featured in Henry the Fourth of Shakespeare, okay. Next question, who did the following character speak these lines in Shakespeare's tragedy in King Lear? As flies to wanton boys are we to go to. Are we to go? Uh, are we to the gods? Okay, the kill us for their sport. Okay, as flies to wanton boys, are we to the gods? They kill us for their sport. Okay, these lines, these are philosophical lines to, to, uh, these are told by Gloucester. Yeah, these are told by Gloucester. She is the reduction. Yeah, these are the philosophical lines here. In Act 4, scene known of Shakespeare's tragedy, King Lear, Gloucester speaks those words as he wanders on the heath. As he was moving on the heath after being blinded by Cornwall and Regan, these are the philosophical musings by Gloucester. Which of the followings Shakespearean plays defies 
the classical unity of time by spanning across the course of 16 years okay by spanning across the tempest no enter and cleopatra the hamlet the winter still so it was winter stills winter stills is violating the classical unity of time the winter still is violating the classical unity of time now in act 4 opens with the time itself acting as a narrator it tells us that 16 years have passed since the day of the trial the winter still is a play by william shakespeare originally published in the first floor 1623 the only shakespeare play to span across 16 years and the winter still defies the classical unities of time place and action so here is the last question to wind up the session here is the question number 15 so which of the following characters is not a part of the triumvirs Triumphs in Shakespeare's historical tragedy is Antony and Cleopatra. So who are another triumphs? Mark Antony was there. The Mark Antony was there. Octavius Caesar was there. Pompey was not there. Lady Lepidus was there. So Pompey was not there. Pompey is the right answer here. And here Shakespeare's historical tragedy Antony and Cleopatra was written about the character Mark Antony who first appeared in Shakespeare's play Julius Caesar and his lover Cleopatra. Okay, within the play, the action shifts back and forth between Rome and Egypt, and the two locations seem almost to play a role in that work. Alexander is portrayed as the sense. and creative place while rome is less extravagant and more pragmatic rome is ruled by the three joint rulers called triumvirs so here rome is ruled by three joint rulers called triumvirs they are mark antony octavius caesar and lepidus so thank you one second for watching the video thank you one second for watching the video and please 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 do subscribe my channel and stay tuned to my channel and tap the bell icon to get more notification that i will upload in future